Hello my loves, welcome back to my sketchbook. Today I'm painting a calm ocean scene. This one took about 15 minutes and painting like this, this and the sky, they're just a great way to paint something without having to commit too much time or effort. As always, info on everything used will be down below, but for now let's get into today's topic. So this came up recently as I shared that I was working on a pretty big painting as a gift for a relative's birthday. The question arose in the comments what my approach is when dealing with family or friends who want art from me and how much I charge them if at all. Now I have to say in this case this was well and truly a gift. It was a big birthday for my auntie and if I wasn't making something I would be buying something for her, I would have done this painting and more for her for everything that she's given me over the years and actually since I'm on a very strict budget this year I am planning on making most of my presents this year anyway. Also she approached me with complete understanding and openness as someone who likes the work that I do and just wanted me to do my thing for her. I have given her prints of mine in the past and in this case she had a more specific idea in mind of what she would like and obviously situations like that are the easy ones. Yes it took time and resources but at no point did I feel like I was losing out. I actually felt like I was gaining something from the experience of painting on a larger scale and doing something for someone else that required a certain level of finish. And I think you can tell when the people in your life really appreciate the time and effort that goes into what you do and value your art. The issue arises when people, and they're usually well-meaning people in your life, they don't have as much of an understanding of the value of your time or your art supplies or even the often limited creative energy that it takes to make art. Innocently enough, people see that you make art and that is really cool to them because they don't think they could ever do something like that. And they like what you do and they think that you're talented and it would be so amazing for them if you could make something for them. Or maybe, I mean, in other cases, you could just be the only artist they know and they just so happen to need an artist because they have this painting in mind that they would like for their house or to use somewhere online or whatever else. And to them, it just makes sense to ask you to make that for them because that is what you do. Now, this is something that I do not have a straightforward answer for. It's something that I take on an entirely case by case basis that honestly comes down to how I feel about it in my gut. Does the thought of doing this fill me with dread because it is so far from anything I would normally do and it doesn't speak to me as an artist at all? Is this request making me feel like I'm just a means to an end for this person, like a, an inkjet printer just churning out something to their specifications and they have no appreciation for the craft that goes into what I do? I have been in situations like that before and uh, maybe it's an age thing, I don't think I would have found it so easy when I was right at the beginning of my art journey but right now I am at a point in my life where I don't even hesitate in those situations like that anymore where I know it doesn't sit right with me. It's a very straightforward no but maybe it is more complicated, maybe I feel guilty because I really like this person and I feel like I should do something for them and maybe I would love to but realistically I don't know if I'll have the time to do it around the other things I have going on. Those no's are much more difficult and maybe they don't warrant a no right away, maybe they need a bit more thinking about and we will get back to that later. But sometimes my gut just says yes, it might be about the person asking, it might be what they're asking for and rarely but sometimes it might just be about what they're offering in return and as I've mentioned in the past it generally has to be at least two out of three of those things for it to really click for me like I don't know I know you're not paying for this maybe not right now maybe not with money but I love you and I think you're great and I know you get me in the work I do and I love the idea you've brought forward and I know I would enjoy doing it that's a lot of stipulations right but if only if it feels right which I know is such a wishy-washy answer only if it feels right will I go for any commission at this stage but especially making art for friends or family? Are they approaching me from a place of appreciation and understanding or am I just a means to an end? So when asked to do something, especially by friends or family, it's easy to jump straight into saying yes. We are natural people pleasers and some of us may have even been raised to not say no to family under any circumstances. And in any case, it can be exciting to have your art wanted. So I would urge you when someone asks you to make something for them just to pause and if you can, tell them that you need to think about it. You can say that you need to figure out if you have the time or if you've got all the right things in place to be able to deliver what they want and ask yourself some questions and answer them honestly. Do you want to do this? And again, be honest. What is your gut saying? And if so, why? And I'm talking quite specifically about doing things for free at this point. Um, and not everything has to be business. Not everything has to be a transaction. If you want to make art, make art. If you want to give it to people, do that. But only if that's what you want, not what you think you should do. And if you don't want to do it, why not? Do you have time to do it? 
How long would it take you and could you be doing something else with your art in the meantime? If you could be doing something else, would you really? Or could this be a good chance to be accountable and actually deliver some creative work? Write it all out if it helps. Just remember to be honest. Are you backing away from it because it doesn't interest you or because you think it will be a challenge? In that case, maybe it is worth taking on just to push yourself and prove that you can do it. Is the exposure that they're promising really worth it? Spoiler alert, probably slash definitely not. Could the experience itself be good for you? Maybe. One thing to always bear in mind is that your time and your work do have value, as does art as a whole. So do what you can to uphold that by not underselling yourself or accepting free work just because you think you ought to. Your art is yours to do as you please with it. You can be as stingy or as generous as you like, as long as that decision is entirely yours and as long as it really makes sense for you. When it comes to saying no, I know that can be tough. But when you have a go-to response, it makes things a lot easier. Explain how much it means to you that this person likes your art so much. But unfortunately, what they want from you requires time and resources that you've committed somewhere else. Keep it short and sweet. If they truly appreciate you and your work, they will understand. Anyway, that is all for today, guys. If you've had any awkward encounters with people wanting you to make art for them, tell us your stories below. I feel like everyone has at least one. And if you've had some great experiences with making art as gifts for people, a few of you have told me in the past about some lovely sounding gifts you've made for people, and I would love to hear about more. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know if there's anything else you'd be interested in me talking about, and I will speak to you soon in the next video. Bye.